I am out on my front porch and I had just laid down some uh, buffalo check rugs on top of these other rugs to layer them for the fall. And I had some buffalo check pillow covers that I put on these lumbar pillows and had enough to put out for each one of the four rocking chairs. We picked up a couple pumpkins at Walmart the other day. And so this is just one of them I laid on the table. And as we go over here to the other side of the porch, you will also see a couple more rockers with the buffalo check rug, another pumpkin on this side, and a couple more of the pillows. And over here, um, I had purchased on clearance two of these copper lanterns, and they're really a, a great size over uh, from Hearth and Hand. These are the largest ones they make. And inside, I just put, I wanna kinda of hook this one completely closed. Um, I put some of those um, battery operated uh, candles and these will automatically go on about 7.15 at night and they'll shut off in about four hours. So they are already on a timer, which is really nice. And then I just um, have some things that I just pulled out from the attic and a couple real pumpkins. I, I bet you can't tell the real pumpkins from the fake pumpkins because they look so good. But the white one and the orange one are real pumpkins and the rest are um, fake pumpkins. And this floral I picked up uh, about two years ago from Walmart on sale for $5. I picked up two of them, so I have one on each side. And then I had these baskets from Hobby Lobby I bought a few years ago and then I just sprayed them with um, Australian timber oil it's the same color that we have on our beams here on the front porch on our cedar beams I'm not sure where I got this truck but I did fill it up with some little pumpkins that I had and I'm going to go ahead and keep our um, nearly natural little trees that I purchased these are um, the UV ones where they don't uh, um, get destroyed by the sun <laughs> shining on them a lot. You have UV protection on them. And I did purchase those probably a month before we moved in the house. So I have two of those. So that's what's on this side of the front door. We have our welcome mat. And I do have two hearth and hand reefs on each door here. And I won't be changing them through Thanksgiving. These will stay up here until I put my Christmas ones up. But they're very neutral and I really, really love those. And then here on the other side of the door, you'll see the same lantern, the same nearly natural tree. And I did put some lava rocks inside to hold this down when it gets windy and the same for the, um, florals right here. I filled this up with lava rock so it holds it down if we get a gush of wind. Now over here I have about three real pumpkins, the two orange and the white, and then I have this cup, um, this uh, garden vase that I, um, terracotta vase that I actually painted a few years ago and then I decoupage some buffalo plaid leaves on there. So I thought that would work really well out here on the front porch. So uh, let me back up a little bit. I picked up these uh, paws over at Walmart about a week or two ago and I planted some more mums here. And I love the way that looks. So let me get a view of the front porch. And um, in my final home tour, I'll take a view a little bit later in the day when the candles are lit up. It looks so beautiful in the evening. Over here, I have a, a flag that I bought through Amazon, a garden flag that says Sunflower Farms. So appropriate. <laughs> Welcome to our home. And the rest of our mums that I have are actually planted in the ground with the ornamental cabbage for the fall. And I have a video that I can link below on our landscaping. But I can't wait till they get a little bit bigger. It's 
especially the ornamental cabbage, and they'll look so beautiful around Thanksgiving time. So let me back up and see if I can get a view of the entire porch. It's pretty big, <laughs> the porch. So it's kind of hard to get the whole entire porch in. But that is how it looks. It's simple, but I really do enjoy it. Oh, I forgot to talk about this little sign that uh, we purchased at Hobby Lobby many years ago. And my husband actually hung it up for me today. We open our home in love and grace and ask God's blessing in this place. And this is gonna stay up permanently all the time. I just really love it. On the other side, we have an antique looking mailbox. Now we actually don't get our mail here. But if somebody wants to come by and drop off a card or put money in for something, <laughs> not that anybody would do that, but it does have a lock on it so we can unlock it and take what's ever um, in there out. And we just like the way it looks. Kind of offsets the sign on the other side. So there you go. These are the bookshelves in my living room and this is just one side of the fireplace I wanted to show you. Now I did do a complete makeover for fall because I really, really like the items that I have up here. So I just added a little bit of fall decor. I took away the um, spring and summer plants. So I wanna show you all the things I have here. This I purchased at Michael several years ago and just threw in some white pumpkins. I have this little um, tray that came from Hobby Lobby mm -hmm. and these antique vintage looking doorknobs that I found at Michael's several mm -hmm. years ago. And I always say a couple years or several years ago, because I really didn't do any shopping last year while we were building the house um, as far as for uh, seasonal decor, but um, I do have a few things we got while we were building, but it wasn't really for um, this area of the home. Here are some uh, candlesticks that I purchased at a, a Hobby Lobby. I believe they still carry these. And then these are battery operated candles. I think I got these off of Amazon, but um, they actually have this design in them that looks makes them look almost like real wood. This suitcase uh, was a clearance item at Michael's and I know I got this little bird of Hobby Lobby. And this is supposed to look like herbs there. Then up here, um, I have some book boxes. Now all the prints that I have here that I'm gonna show you came from Heirloom Prints and I'll link that below. And I just purchased these frames at Hobby Lobby at 50% off. This beautiful vase is from Hobby Lobby. Um, no, it's actually from Walmart. And then I just threw in this little plant. Up here, I have those smashers that Michael's carried a few years ago. A little bird cage with a battery operated candle. And then some little pumpkins up here in this wooden tray. So that's on this side. So these bookcases are really large and I have a lot of shelves that I have to fill. But here are some little hand brooms and this uh, milk glass piece came from a friend who lives in San Antonio. She gave this to me as a gift. Um, I'm trying to think if it was for my birthday that she gave it to me. Yes, I think it was um, a year ago for my birthday. And I just threw in some fall filler there, added some dried apples. And then this piece came from Cotton and Crete, and I'll link that below another glass jar from Hobby Lobby, and then this heirloom print that I like so much. And I added this little, this is actually, I think it's a candle ring. And um, you probably hear my dog barking in the background. We actually have uh, six poodles, so <laughs> you're gonna hear them from time to time. This is from Home Goods, this vase. And then the corbels are from Hobby Lobby. I think I got this little cloche 
from um, TJ Maxx and I just put a pumpkin inside. And then I just have some books that I threw up here. And those artificial books up there are also from TJ Maxx. And another print from Heirloom Prints. And this little cute sheep. And I, I'm thinking that maybe I got that at Joann's a few years ago. Um, but I'll kind of back up a little bit so you can see these shelves. Now there is a top shelf and I'm still on the hunt for vintage books. I'm gonna fill that up with some core, some bookends and some vintage books up at the top and that does light up. So you kind of get a view of that. Just with some fall touches in there. And now I'm at the other side of the fireplace at the other bookshelf. And right over here is a sword my husband picked up in Japan when he was in the Navy. And then he has a, um, a boomerang that he got in, in Australia. So he wanted to display those on the bookshelf. So those will just probably stay there all the time. And then over here on the other side, I just have a little pumpkin, a wooden pumpkin I got from Hobby Lobby and this cute little um, chestnut tray with some filler. And then a picture of my family uh, on a trip that we went to uh, Belize and Roatan back in 2019. Here I have a um, wooden lantern with some fall filler in there. And this little vintage journal that came off of Amazon, another one of those um, shoe, shoe molds from Cotton and Creed. And I believe I did get this um, container from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if they still have it, but they may. Um, they still have a lot of glass jars there. These two items are from Cotton and Creed and another one of those beautiful prints from Heirloom Prints. And then another picture with another fall um, candle ring around it. Up here I have two little storage containers from the Hearth and Hand collection and two glass bottles. We go up to the top to this side. I have another heirloom print and some items that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. That squirrel actually lights up inside. And then this pumpkin came from the, the dollar spot at Target. And I have been collecting clocks. So I have several different clocks you might see on this these bookshelves. And then I've got some of my kitchen shelves. And I think I got this from Hobby Lobby. These I know these stems are from Hobby Lobby. And then um, I'm not sure where I got this box. I did paint it and I used an antique stain on it to make it look old. And there's another battery operated candle, another heirloom print, and um, these terracotta pots, I actually did this finish on this um, to make them look old, and I really like the way they turned out. So uh, again, up there at the very top, I haven't filled anything in yet, so I'm gonna have to go on the hunt and visit some antique stores and old bookshops and try to find me some vintage looking books. So back up just a hair so you can kind of see what I have up there and how I just added a few fall stems and decor pieces just to bring in that fall look. I am in our guest bathroom and I did do a little bit of fall decorating. I have this cute little bird and I think I bought that at Walmart a couple years back. And then I have this um, handmade farm fresh container from Hobby Lobby. What I did is filled it up with some fall soaps that I picked up at uh, TJ Maxx. And then I just added a little pick. I have my Myers apple cider scent soap. And then over here I have a really cute uh, small tear tray with some scarecrows and some little trees. I did get these from Hobby Lobby this year and I just think they're so cute. It was a package, I think, of three in it. Yeah, and then the other two are down there at the bottom and then I just added these candles inside these little wooden candle holders. Those are so cute. Not, I'm not sure where I got them, but I just think those are adorable. 
And then the other side of the bathroom, I actually have two sinks. Here's this second sink in the guest bathroom. I also did a tear tray, but a little bit bigger one. And everything on here, I just uh, shopped my attic. <laughs> I didn't buy anything new. These are things that I had in the past. Again, I have my little favorite um, picks from Hobby Lobby. I have these throughout the house. Absolutely love them. I love the color of them. And then my pumpkin patch sign and this adorable little gnome. And these uh, fall breeze autumn leaves. They look like little mason jars almost. I think I got those at Michael's. Um, probably, I don't know, I'm guessing two or three years ago. And then I have this little buffalo chuck pumpkin back here. And then a wooden buffalo. You can see this back here, a wooden buffalo chuck pumpkin. And then I have it right next to my bath salts. And I did get this, actually, this cute little cup. It says, unbelievably blessed. And then you can just use this to measure out your bath salts when you want to take a bath at my house in our guest bathroom. And then here on the other side, I have some salted caramel corn. I, I do have these little containers. My sister purchased these for us as a housewarming gift, uh, hair ties and floss picks, but I haven't filled those up yet. And I need to do that here soon because we do have a lot of family guests coming for Thanksgiving holiday. If I turn around this way, you'll see this cute white bench. Um, I did buy this on Facebook Marketplace for $100. It's a Kirkland bench, and I just painted it with uh, cashmere white from All-in-One Paint. I have this cute, cute little pumpkin pillow. It's embroidered and has all these beads on it. It is adorable. I'm trying to see if there's a tag or anything. I can't remember where I would have purchased that. And then um, I have a pumpkin here that is a three stack Buffalo check pumpkin. And that's really cute. And then just a uh, throw blanket. And this really, really beautiful garland that I have across the top of the bench, I picked up at Kirkland's uh, probably two or three years ago. I really, really love it. I'm kind of disappointed in myself for not getting the matching wreath. I think that would look really cute in here. And then right here is the welcome to our home sign. I'm sure that looks familiar to a lot of you. I have some picks up here on this shelf. Harvest Blessings pumpkin, my Give Thanks truck, another cute little gnome, and some, this mason jar with sunflowers that says welcome. And then into this section of the bathroom where the tub is, up here on the wall, I have this beautiful pumpkin um, framed art, and I'm trying to think where I got this, I, I'm not sure, <laughs> but uh, this may look familiar to some of you. I think it's either from Kirkland's or it's from Hobby Lobby, I'm not sure which one. And over here on the floor, I have this really large vase with some um, gold or yellowish kind of hydrangea, which I did purchase. 75% um, off at Michael's, and then some buffalo check pumpkin picks and some little berry picks that I've had for several years. It's really good size and it looks just really beautiful here in this spot. Thank you friends for visiting my channel and if you're new, welcome. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe so you can see my complete home fall tour that's gonna be coming up shortly. Thank you so much again, and a last view of the bathroom. And thank you so much. Have a blessed day.